Hello everyone. I've dropped a tagged spline into the world and I'm going to load some skyscrapers into it. I'm just going to drop the PCG graph in the world and let it generate. This is going to generate upwards of 11 million static meshes. So while it does that, let me tell you about what I've done. I've created a large grid of points and I have defined some roads running through those points with just a bit of math. Any point that is on a road becomes a wall, any point that is not on a road becomes a floor, and I use a custom blueprint node to create a bunch of random floors upwards for each skyscraper, and there you go, I got a bunch of skyscrapers. Now I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to disable global illumination in order to zoom in close to this thing. If I don't, Unreal drops down to like 5 or 10 frames per second, which <laughs> is not a good experience. And here you go, skyscrapers. We've got windows, walls, doors to patios. There's some columns on the edge of the skyscrapers. And every story has floors inside. I took sort of an outside-in approach, starting with walls and then cutting roads through them and going inwards to the floors and so on. A better approach would really be to go inside out, you could start with just a few points defining the neighborhoods, and then within those build more points for the buildings, and then go on to smaller details from there. But I wanted to see if I could do it this way, and I did, and I learned a lot from doing it. Now this is a shrunken down version. Uh, it's the same thing, but I have enabled collision. And let me show you what happens when you generate it at runtime. It loads pretty fast, and you can actually scale it up a lot bigger than this without really noticing any delays in generation. You can drop down into a balcony and run around inside the building, check out the lights from the windows, uh, not much to do in there, and then uh, run out to another, another door and jump down to another building. It's actually pretty satisfying jumping down from balcony to balcony. Uh, maybe I should make the jump larger so that I can jump upwards, too. And this is what it looks like from ground level. Alright, now let me pop over to the graph and I'll give you an overview of what it looks like. And here's the entire graph. I start off with uh, sampling the spline and creating a bunch of points, and then I filter the points and manipulate them into a state that I can work with. Then the red nodes are me cutting roads through the x-axis, the green nodes are cutting through the y-axis, yellow nodes are where the x and y-axis intersect, those turn into columns, and blue is floors and ceilings. And then the remaining points are me filtering out to decide which static mesh to spawn. And that's it! In my next video I'm going to show you how to set this up from scratch, so stay tuned.